Hi, my name is Tom Mahoney. Today we're going to cover how to make text-to-speech phone calls using an Excel spreadsheet. And what you're going to have to do is go to robotalker.com, uh, R-O-B-O talker.com, and look on the lower right-hand side, and you'll see an icon here that says text-to-speech. Click on that, and you'll get an Excel spreadsheet to come down. It's to be ex has to be 2005 or above you should have in your system and this spreadsheet will open up and when you look at this spreadsheet you'll notice up here at the top it says security warning macros have been disabled you want to enable those click on that okay now you can put in some call settings and information we'll make some phone calls let's click on this here's where you can put the number you use for caller ID let's change it up here let's go uh, 2020 uh, this is a, a key. You get this when you have a RoboTalker account. We have a demonstration key you can try. It's 7777. The time that you want these to go out, you can put this anytime in the future. Uh, priority, 24-7, or it could be within a legal time window if it's a marketing message. And this is if you're sending out 10,000 calls, of course, and, and if you uh, want to have the hit one option, which is always on, you might want to spread them out over a few hours, and you don't want it to go into... Um, you know, midnight be to be calling people. Which voice do you want to use, a male or female? Pick a female. And let's, we're done with this section. You might notice this requires input, and this, this is, uh, tells you if it's invalid data. That's for done when you enter in the information here. Let's create a message. And here it is. We have, hello, this is King County Department of uh, Jawab Family Services to remind you that your appointment on parameter one, down here you'll notice parameter one, at parameter two, uh, with parameter three, you can add as many parameters as you want. So this can go out and be a, as elaborate message as you want to. For collection services for debt, you could say the amount, the date, whatever. For uh, payment reminders or for um, late billing reminders, uh, not as far as collections. Say for doctor's offices or hospitals, you can put in the time and date the doctor they visited, the amount, things like that if you want to. And then uh, if you need to reschedule this appointment, then hit number one now on your phone to be connected to our office. And if they hit number one anytime during the phone call, it'll immediately be transferred to the same number that's on the caller ID. Uh, and then we leave a phone number because it also could have went to a voicemail. So let's review that. That's fine. And I'll click outside the cell here. You can have multiple messages, up to four messages, and then you put a different message in these. So some messages could have one that say you missed your appointment, now you have to do this. And the other one could say that you that's not... Um, your appointment's been canceled, whatever you want to have. And we're all familiar with Excel, and that's a nice thing. These are just regular cells. You can drop downs, place in numbers, place in names. Uh, John Smith, let's say instead of Henry, well, we can say whatever we want, but I think you get the idea on this. This is validation. Okay, let's make some phone calls. It says push this button, submit robocalls. Now, it's just an Excel sheet on my laptop. I didn't upload anything. I'm doing it right from the Excel spreadsheet. Let me hit this. It says robocalls have been submitted. And the phone should ring shortly. Now, we placed uh, robocalls. And if you have an account with the company, you'll get, oh, there's a phone call. And the caller ID is 740-555. 2020. And I'll say, hello. Hello. This is the King County Department of So I think you have the idea that it. Any questions, stop on by robotalker.com. And um, there's a couple contact numbers you can call us in for questions. Thanks. Bye.